Hello Internet, welcome to Lex Universe. So as you may have noticed, I've upgraded my hardware, so hopefully the videos will be now a lot more watchable than until this time, and hopefully the content will improve with the quality of the video. Anyway, into today's video. Uh, if you find yourself ever in the future in Prague and you will have some time to spare, it may be a good idea to head out to some other destination in the Czech Republic. And in today's video I will show you my personal number two tourist attraction in the Czech Republic and that's this medieval South Bohemian town of Český Krumlov. It's usually really crowded by tourists but since the borders are still not open now then I believe it will be a lot emptier and we will see it in a completely different light. So follow me and let's go catch the bus. Now, if you plan on getting there, you have basically two options. There are direct bus routes by the companies of Regiojet and Flixbus that will take you to the town of Český Krumlov. The route takes about 3 hours and it costs around 200 crowns. If you choose to travel by train, it may be a little bit more comfortable, but you will have to transfer to another train in the city of České Budějovice and it's a little bit more expensive. But considering it's one of the most popular sites in the Czech Republic, the buses are usually really full and you may not have any other option. Church of St. Vitus. Let's go inside. By the way, it must be some kind of a very popular Czech scent because we also have one church of St. Vitus in Prague. You may have heard of it, it's like the most iconic thing you can see in Prague. I told you that the city was beautiful. So you can see it still retains kind of this medieval feel. Really cool. And because I'm a fucking tourist, let's go check some souvenirs. So this place is usually full of tourists and right now as you can see it's almost empty. Really cool if you like taking pictures where there are no people. It is no coincidence that this town was built in this sharp bend of the Vltava River since it provides the town with a great natural defense and with the Chesky Krumov Castle overseeing the whole territory it provides a lot more defenses. Now today the medieval historical part of the town is located in this peninsula in the bend of the Vltava River and it's been added to the World Heritage List of UNESCO in 1992. And now we can guess what our next stop will be. And there you can see it, at the Český Krumlov Castle. It's the second largest castle in the Czech Republic. Let's go check it out. And of course I will have to stay well fed. Right, so we're in the castle garden. Uh, it surrounds the castle premises. It's really beautiful, at least now in spring, but I need to share with you one experience that I just had. Um, my camera froze and I was trying to troubleshoot by googling and uh, the advice that I got was to let the battery drain to zero. So that's like the weirdest thing that anyone has ever advised to me. <laughs> Luckily I figured it out. So. Oh, 
somehow there is a lot of children here and they're following us. Help. This is the most famous viewpoint of the town. As you can see, it's super crowded even now. Now the main landmark of the city, Chesky Grum Castle. There are several guided tours here that you can buy if you want to venture the interiors, but there are five courtyards that you can visit for free and that's what we're going to do right now. So let's go. Well if you're interested in history then I don't know, buy a history book. Start reading, it's real helpful. And this is how I will always recognize which year I filmed this video. Now I would say that the second most important landmark in Český Krumlov is this Franciscan monastery. Actually it's monasteries, there are more of them. And for like 300 crowns you get the ground tour that will take you through all the premises. Which I believe could be really interesting if you're interested in history. Or architecture, or religion, or you just are really bored. And if you are a beer fan, there is this great brewery and the beer is called Český Krumlov, our original, right? It's like beginning of June and it's freezing, so I wish I brought warmer clothes. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, check out my other social media, and see you in the next trip. Have a great day.